Welcome back everyone, it's Sarah of sarahsbites.com and today we're gonna to be making these cute sugar cookies, perfect for the holiday season. Grab your stand mixer and go ahead and mix one and a half cups of unsalted butter at room temperature so it's not cold and it's not melted in the microwave. Make sure you let it stand at room temperature until it's just soft and mix it for about 15 seconds just to get everything stirred around a little bit and then go ahead and add in your one cup of granulated sugar. Go ahead and mix these together for three minutes or so, about three to four. You want them to be pale white and very mixed well together. You don't want to feel that grittiness of the granulated sugar with the butter. So at least three to four minutes should do it. And I did mine on medium speed and then just scrape down the bowl a couple different times. Next, you'll add in one whole cold egg and then I added one teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of almond extract and that part is optional. You do not have to add the almond extract in there. Give that another mix for 30 seconds or so and then we're gonna go ahead and start to add our dry ingredients. Next, you'll need three cups of all-purpose flour leveled and just make sure it's not packed or that ends up being too much flour. In there, add in one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give that a nice stir and we'll start to add it into the mixer. All right, fair warning you guys, do not add as much flour as I did on the first go here. Make sure you add a little bit at a time as you mix it or put a big dish cloth over your mixer because as you can tell right here, it will get everywhere. But hey, even if you do make a big old mess like I did, the cookies will still turn out amazing. Give that another stir until everything starts to form together, and then you're just gonna take it out, make one big ball, and put it in cling wrap, and you're gonna refrigerate that for at least one hour. I actually refrigerated two balls of dough instead of one big one because it's just easier to work with a half piece and roll it out than rolling out one big ball of dough. And you're just gonna go around in a circle, sort of try to resemble a circle, and put some flour on top here and there just to make sure that the rolling pin does not stick. But you do want this dough to be at about a quarter inch thick, no thinner than that. You don't want it to get flat and you want the cookies to hold their shape and you definitely don't want crunchy sugar cookies. So definitely don't go under a quarter inch thick. And next, just use your favorite cookie cutters and then go ahead and wiggle them a little bit as you make that indent because it will help that, the extra dough to separate from it and not stick. And then just kind of start to pull those extra pieces around. And I ended up using a pie server or you can use a spatula, whatever you prefer, just to kind of get under there in case it did stick a little bit. And you'll just use those cracks and roll another ball of dough. Go ahead and roll that out and just keep making your shapes. I did mine a total of three times, and since that dough did get warm again, I went ahead and put that entire cookie sheet with the cutout cookies on there back in the fridge for another 10 minutes while my oven was preheating, just so they can cool off once again before we bake them. And I just wanted to let you guys know all the ingredients will be in the description below and also on my website at sarahsbites.com. Uh, you guys can also feel free to check out other recipes I have on there. And I would love if you subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy watching my videos. And please give me a thumbs up below if you guys like this one. And let me know in the comments what else you guys would like to see. I know that the holiday season is almost over and we're gonna start diving into some yummy winter recipes, but I would love to just make what you guys are interested in seeing, so definitely let me know below. After you cool these cookies for 10 more minutes in the fridge, go ahead and bake them at 350 for only nine to 10 minutes. Do not go past 10, maybe max 11 if you do like a little bit of crunch to your sugar cookie, but I did mine for exactly 10 minutes, and as you can see on this cookie right here, they're not brown under, the sides are hardly starting to turn golden brown, and that's because I do not like crispy cookies. So I really hope you guys enjoy these, have fun decorating them, and I think you guys will really like them. They are a soft sugar cookie, and the more that you put them in Tupperware and they sit, they get even softer. So thank you guys so much for watching, and happy holidays.